This is the hydrophore tank gauge glass which uh, we are going to clean now. So usually the procedure is uh, in case the tank is pressurized you have to close both the inlet and outlet valve of the side glass and you have to drain the water and then you can start the job. But now uh, we are doing the maintenance inspection for uh, hydrophore tank that I will show in my next video. So now I am opening the cover of the side glass. So once the side glass cover is open then you will be having complete access for the side glass. This cover is to ensure uh, uh, the glass safety. So in case if some something touch accidentally the glass should not get hit. So this is the purpose of the cover. And sometimes what happens is if uh, due to over pressure this uh, glass may get uh, burst brittle and it may break. So to avoid that also that cover is kept. So I am removing the nut of the side glass both the side both the inlet and outlet. Next uh, we need to remove the valve of inlet and outlet valve. The reason for removing the valve is we need to clean the cover uh, means we need to clean the side glass. So we have to insert a soft brush so if the valve is there we cannot insert the soft brush along with the pipe so that's the reason we have to remove the valve so now i am loosening both the, the side glass holding nut so next i am just uh, opening the drain plug which I said earlier when the tank is pressurized we have to close both the inlet and outlet valve and drain the water which is inside the side glass with the help of removing the drain plug of the gauge glass. So this is the gauge glass drain plug and I am removing it. So whenever you are doing any work with this kind of uh, side glass you have to be very careful because uh, if you accidentally hit the glass and the glass will get broken and uh, that will be additional job. So next thing is I am going to open the valve out. So I am removing the top plug so that uh, I can uh, insert the brush. So I will show uh, if we are not removing the plug you can see it don't go inside. So what we need to do is we have to remove the inlet and outlet valve. Now that's what I am doing now. It's a uh, you can see uh, I removed the valve. Now if I insert I can insert the brush so this is the soft brush which I am talking about do not use metal brush use always a teflon brush so that it don't uh, give a marking on the side glass so just insert the side glass and uh, insert the brush and clean the side glass now you can see the difference between uh, earlier and uh, after clean stage of side glass it can you can see it is very clean again i am uh, inserting the brush and cleaning the side glass this is the reason that i opened the drain plug you can see the water which is applied from top can drain down and also the brush can come inside so I had already done with the cleaning of side glass. Once the cleaning is done, put some water again and just flush it. Putting the water and just rub it. You can see here. Yeah. You can see whatever water which is applied from top is draining from downwards, and the side glass is completely cleaned so this is how you have to clean the side glass main thing is since it's a glass you have to be very careful when handling so i'm done with cleaning so once the cleaning is done you have to put back the valve in place you can see 
this is the valve and you can see the side glass is very clean and put back the valve in place tighten the valve nut okay so both inlet and outlet valve to be fitted back in place so once that is done tighten the drain plug both top uh, top plug and the bottom plug tighten it and you should not uh, apply more pressure when tightening it, the side glass because uh, it has a tendency to break so do not apply more pressure just uh, normal hand tightening is enough so both the valves are in place top plug in place bottom plug in place next thing is put back the guard side glass guard so fit back the side glass guard tighten it and then our job is done so this is how you have to clean the side glass of hydro 4 tank clean it uh, every three months or six months because uh, when the gauge glass gets dirt you cannot able to see exactly how much water is present inside the tank for that to get the clear picture you have to ensure your side glass is maintained properly and it should be visible enough to see the water level so i believe this video must have given you some information about uh, how to clean a hydro four tank side glass you can say it as a level gauge also not a problem you can say anyway but uh, this is the concept of cleaning you have to always uh, ensure you are not uh, using wire brush for cleaning use always uh, nylon brush next thing is you have to be very careful when doing the job because uh, if you uh, or a little bit slack you can end up with breaking the glass thank you all thanks for watching